Um, in your perspective, not only as a writer, but also with your background as an actor, what makes for a good episode? Is it like the chill factor, the comedy, the music? What makes it's like an all said, I, I think, because um, my kind of, I, I don't know, like the only way that I can like make sense of like the world is through like sort of making fun of things and like humor. Like it's just the only way or I would just like run, like jump, just jump out that window. Like it just seems like that's like how I see things. And so like I, for me, it's always like the show is, for me, and it's interesting, it's probably not the same way for everybody, but like for me the show is like first and foremost is very funny and like, and it's always been that way. Um, oddly enough, like I think what we learn in the writing of it is that like the more, um, the humor really doesn't work unless it has something to cut against, which is like a very grounded like um, foundation of, of story and character and like heart, like that, um, oddly enough that our, we kind of learned early on that very, um, Sometimes our episodes that read the funniest on the page don't play that way. Sometimes the ones that read kind of sad, um, that can somehow key into that like that that kind of like sanguine kind of like earnest, soft like I, that, that feel that, that feeling that you had when like you first fell in love in like high school with some you know like hideous zitty girl or whatever. You know, it's just like that. That like there's a special kind of like earnestness that I think is like, again, like it's like that, um, I think it's kind of cool that people are a little less afraid of that, that like some, somehow, I don't know how it happened, it seems like some sort of like collective like cynicism, like cultural cynicism has just like melted away and then all of a sudden like there was just this break in the clouds for this like weird show to happen where like you can kind of buy that and everyone really cares and anyway, it's, it's, it's the show that like, I think for me that like it needs to. I think you need a, a, a biting humor to make kind of the sappy stuff work, and vice versa. And without them, they don't work. And I think that was the weird alchemy that we really stumbled upon. Like that was not intentional. Like it was just like it was. I think partially a mix of like us as writers, and then a and then a cast who could like it was just like every possible dream you could ever have about like working with actors, which is like amazing. So. Just so that um, Of course, uh, Corey is a bit of a local boy, so I want to right. know Alberta. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me about writing for him and how you've seen him evolve in that? I liked him from the beginning. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> in Canada. Um, no, he was. Uh, that was a really, really hard part to to cast, and I think actually we we saw a lot of people, and everybody was really good. Like everybody we saw was amazing. But like there was something about him, and I actually think I would say this, and it sounds a little douchey, and I don't really mean it this way, but like it it kind of like Corey had the actor playing that role sort of had to be Canadian. Like it, there's just a different. I, I literally think Corey was American, he wouldn't be the same kid. There's just like there's something about. Um, and maybe this is just totally offensive, but there is something like just <laughs> that's like sort of like like just like open and like kind of earnest and like hey, like I'm just like he's just like a guy and like and um and like handsome and kind of just a doofus and like it's kind of like weird in his body and it's like just he's just this amazing combination of like a million things that like I I I just remember when he walked in like I I sort of I don't know if anybody remembers this but I was sort of I I uh I was kind of like really thought he was the guy early on, and I was so Brad and Ryan was going to make fun of him, you told him it was like a weird, like, producer crush on Gory, and then he was like, he was just like our guy, like he, um, he's really good, like, it's just a great presence, like I can't say enough about him, like really, really good, and I think he, I hope he'll just have like a very, very long career, because like he's a great kid, kid, he's like, an adult. <laughs> You talked about the uh, MySpace group and the gold record. Can you talk about the use of technology other than broadcast TV and where that might be going with the show? I mean, God, you'd know more than I would, but I, I think um, it's, I mean, in a broader sense, like, I, two things. I mean, in a broader sense, I, I think, like, new media is, like, the way of the future. That, like, that, like I totally, like, I go on Huffington Post. I used to buy the New York Times more than I do now. Like, I now read it online. Like, it's bad. But like, I think that like, um, in a way, TV is still this like dominant, dominant medium. Yeah, you should get this whenever you go to the upfronts. It's actually kind of an education for me. It's just like notionally, like you hear like, oh, TV's kind of on its way out. It's a dinosaur. 
Then you actually look at it, like more people will watch, um, I, I'm not sure if this is totally right, but it's like in the right ballpark, but like, you know, like our finale, there was like 13 and a half million Americans watched it. Like that, if you translate that to a box office, like <coughs> most, that would be an opening box office of like a hundred million dollars or whatever. That's a, that's a huge thing. And that's just one week of television. So like, I think sometimes that can be overstated. And I think it can also that like, these kids are like interconnected and they're tweeting and they're Facebooking. Like that, that's all very important. And I'm kind of on like, that's not my generation. Like I think I'm at like the tail end of like, people who were like, when I went to college, it was like, give me your email. Like I'll email you, it'll be awesome. And like, yeah, email, like internet. And like now it's just a different thing, but I think that, um, I don't know, you have to use those things to, to complement story and stuff. It only seems, otherwise it seems gimmicky. Like I, you know, like we, t we, you know, like we tweet as the characters, the characters tweet and stuff like that. And in a way it's more, for me it's much less like we're trying to like carve out some new kind of market share about it that can be like exploited by various like, but are you trying to build a community? I mean, Degrassi had a website, you know, and you became a member of the class, that type of thing. Totally, yeah. And it's more that it's just like, yeah, the more it can, I don't know, I guess the more immersive things are, the more things you can kind of sneak out and hunt for, the better. Like, I guess it is just like looking for Easter eggs. But like, in, in a way that is still, like, I guess new media is still like, new for me and for us. Although, like, I think that that was, and, and Ryan, I think, really, was adamant about that. He was like, I, I think we're going to do a show about underdogs and like, and and kind of have cast like a bunch of like more or less unknowns. And then like, why don't we really actually cast some unknowns and like just see who's out there and like, um, we're inundated like I, tens of thousands of these like things to, to pour through, which we've kind of been been doing, but it's uh. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting how that how that plays out, like how technology, you know, it, when you're on a big show like this, that can kind of be, when you know you're then approached by people about like how using this new technology like as part of your brand, and that's all like it's all great to me in a way. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Oh, um, I'm just wondering with all the stuff you've got going on the show, the the the, the songs and the large cast and every day and the thing, you know, and, and the musical numbers, how do you save money on the show? I mean how do you or how do you avoid making every episode a budget buster? Um, very, very carefully. Yeah. It's it's hard because we're trying to do too much in a in too small amount of time. Um you you just find ways. Like if some things are gonna make if you know you're gonna have a huge um, production number, or that you know that you want to use, a, you know, say a, this is unfair because I'm not sure if this stuff is actually more expensive than say like a famous Rolling Stones song or whatever. It's going to cost double what a, what another song would cost. Um, then you just then you say like, well, we're going to try to fit more of this episode like indoors, and or or we have to blow it out for that like the Madonna episode was like blown out. Was, <laughs> we blew that out like schedule wise, money wise, and then you just try to catch up. Um, and it's not, you know, we, the good thing about this show is that it just seems like um, at, at every turn it's sort of, um, I think culturally, but also like, I think like financially it's sort of like beaten expectations that at every, you know, even the, even the tour, which was kind of, we, it was kind of just testing the waters of like what that would be like. Like, could we do a live tour? Like, do we even know how to do that? Like, would it be good? And then like, we just kind of, Throughout a trial balloon, and then the, it was, um, I think all the menus sold out in like 30 seconds, is what you were saying. So we added things. So it's just, we, we're just trying to get into a kind of space about like, um, I guess, understanding the show itself. And, and again, it's not, you, you try not to go into, at least I don't, you try not to go into like a creative process thinking of that, of like, well, we've got to save money here, and that's always, um, but that's why you have a network and a studio, and like, and, and you know, Producers and line producers and, and production managers to help you out with that. So, because um, otherwise I would be lost. I don't have. <laughs>